Hello everyone and welcome back and this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Virgo for the week of December 19th through the 25th of 2022. And I would also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up and subscribed and left comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. And I would also like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. And Justice is your first card out, Virgo. Okay, so maybe you have to do some signing of some papers, a divorce settlement, maybe you're being a character witness in something, some sort of legal contract that you're going to have to be signing here in order to get going. You know, some sort of settlement it could be an old debt or that you've been waiting on for a long time or perhaps even forgot about it and this is the week that they decided to pay you back that they want you to sign a piece of paper saying that you're paid in full sort of thing. So some sort of legal document. And the two of pentacles. So feeling like you're juggling. You know, trying to make everybody happy, trying to keep the peace in the family, that sort of thing. You know, going forward, you know, you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed in some cases, in some part of your life here. You know, this could be at your job as well as your home life. Maybe you're trying to make everybody happy this week and, you know, but you're walking on eggshells, not making yourself happy. And the hangman. So you're trying to make a decision for yourself. Trying to understand which way you want to go. You know, in some cases you could be overthinking something as well. You know, you're trying to um, get a, a better look. You're taking taking all things into consideration. You know, you're looking at both sides of, of the situation or, you know, the talks, if that's what it is. You know, and, and trying to make a sound decision. You know, you realize that, you know, something's not quite working out, so... You're feeling like you're a little bit held back at this time, but the answers are coming to you. You'll, you know, sacrifice and, and do what you got to do in order to achieve what you want. And the Wheel of Fortune, and there it comes. There you go. Wow. Good for you. You know, there's a pay raise coming in. You know, there's some sort of money unexpectedly. In some cases, this could be love coming in as well for some of you. You know, you're getting that big career break that you've always wanted. You know, you're uh, taking charge. You're on your way. You're moving forward. Good for you. And the emperor. Yeah, you felt like you were being held back in some sort of circumstances. You know, but you're making a commitment this week to help yourself move the way you want to go so that you have uh, validation and feel better about yourself. So, you know, you're sort of just no longer wanting to be under somebody's thumb all the time. Like you always feel like you're not doing well enough or you want your independence and that's what you're heading for. Now this could be in a new job as well as a relationship and the eight of pentacles. There you are diligently working away, making things happen for yourself. You realize what you want to do, how you got to go about getting it done and you're headed in that direction. You're not taking no for an answer. You've already made up your mind of what you want to do and how to do it. So, you know, you're just trying to step back a bit, do some course of study for some of you. Maybe you're going back to school to take higher education in order to make it happen for yourself. Maybe you're teaching yourself, you know, because there's lots of stuff on the internet that you can look up and and it will help you to steer you in the right direction to do your job easier. You know, but this is beginner's luck. You're starting over. You know, you're moving in, in, in a course that you want to go in and you're feeling happy about it. You're starting to, you know, have a good sense of yourself again. And new beginnings, the Ace of Rods. So there it is. Opportunity is knocking for sure. You know, and you're just going to pull it in this week and, and go for it for all it's, it's worth. You know, this is the new career, you know, create a project that you always wanted to get off the ground and it's heading in the right direction. Like this is being handed to you and you can see that it's growing. 
you know, it's starting to, you know, take shape and bloom and go in the direction that you always hoped it would. So good for you. Ooh, an inheritance for some of you. Money coming in, tangible goods, you know. Maybe somebody's left you something that you didn't know about, but money is definitely in the picture. It's coming in, like, you know, whether this is a good business deal or a trust fund that you didn't know about, or you're realizing or finding out that, you know, if you own something that it's worth more than what you had anticipated, something that, you know, if need be or want, it would pay you for it. And the high priestess. So definitely, you know, talking to somebody. Somebody's got a lot of knowledge. Or this could be somebody coming to you as well, you know. You know a little bit about everything and everybody and you never really talk about it. Unless somebody asks you and you see that it might be valid to them, so you'll answer them, you know. But you're doing okay otherwise, you know, you're successful. If there's a family member that, you know, has the inside scoop, maybe you've talked to them, but you've kept all that information for yourself. You haven't, you know, let it out into the world. Ooh, and a get-together, three of cups, very nice. Getting the, getting together with some friends, family members, an invitation coming in for some of you. Maybe you've been invited to go, you know, somewhere for a Christmas get-together. You're just enjoying each other. Everybody's enjoying each other, you know, and, and uh, you're having a good celebration. Now, whether this is a birthday or a party, get-together, you know, a wedding, um, reunion, an anniversary, whatever it happens to be, but you're quite content to go. And when you do, it's almost like it was a, a party that was given for you. You're enjoying yourself. You're smiling. You're just, you know, oozing goodness. And the devil, that's all right. You know, that just gives you clarity on realizing what was holding you back, what you know, what you were allowing to hold you back in your life or where you felt you had to stay put in a circumstances because in fear of if I let this go, you know, will there be anything left in the future? But you're realizing that what's holding you back is your own boundaries that you needed to put up with other people and how they treat you and, and the circumstances that you're in. And this is the week that you're going to do that. You're taking your own advice you know, you're very good at giving advice, but you're not so good at practicing. So that's your goal this week is to make sure you're taking care of yourself and the strength card. There you are. You know, you're not repressing your feelings. You're using them in order to steer yourself in the direction that, you know, will pay off in the long run for yourself. You know, in some cases, this is, you know, finally you're getting that that pay raise that you've deserved for so very long, but you're, you know, you're learning to control your own, control yourself and take your own advice so that you have peace of mind for yourself, which is wonderful. And the death card. So you're looking over things in your life, things that's happened, you know, all the different things that's gone on in your life and, and spending a little bit of time there because it's taught you a lot and it's got you to where you have and what you what you have and where you are now in life. So you're realizing that, you know, it's okay. I don't have to keep hanging on to this stuff. I can let it go and shut the door on it and know that I'm going to be okay and continue on with my life. So you're glad with what you've learned because it's given you a lot of knowledge that you can pass on to others if need be. And watching your P's and Q's, trying not to overspend, trying to make yourself a little bit comfortable, even held yourself back from doing certain things or buying things for yourself or others because you didn't want to overspend and have to worry that you won't have enough in the future. So you're holding yourself back a little bit. You know, you're so scared that if you move that you'll lose all that you've gained, but you won't. And the nine of pentacles. So there you are, you know, standing there quite content with yourself. You've made a lot of accomplishments. You know, you're in the money. There's a windfall coming in for you. You know, checks in the mail. You're feeling um, 
spiritually enriched, like you're happy with yourself, you're stable, you're secure, you're worry-free at this time. You know, you can see that all that you've sacrificed and done in your life has gotten you this far and, and you're quite content with it because it, you've accomplished a lot. You know, you've stood on your own ground, you're comfortable with doing it. And people can see that about you, that you don't have to depend on anybody. You're your own self-made. And the five of cups. So spend a little bit of time looking back at the past, realizing where you came from, the different sacrifices that you've, you know, given into sort of thing to get where you're at, but you're okay with that because you know that, you know, things have to happen in your life, sometimes in a certain way in order for you to, you know, realize where you're going. This could have been a bad relationship, some sort of disappointment in your life. Maybe you took a, a course of some sort and you didn't quite get the mark that you were hoping for. You know, some sort of uh, dream that didn't quite pan out for yourself. But you're okay with that because you have lots of confidence in yourself. You've got, you know, your yourself to keep yourself going because you're quite sufficient on your own. So there you go. And, you know, and you, you're you going to turn around. You're going to stop spending so much time in this remorse syndrome and pick up the cups and move over the bridge and on to better life for yourself. It's a very good Virgo. Very good indeed. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card. A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This motive... This movement will... Usher in positive new energy. So there you go. Sorry about that. All right. On that note, I will say goodbye for now. And I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.